magandang araw. Una sa lahat, maraming salamat sa pagdalo sa pista ng MAPA at maraming salamat na rin sa pakikinig sa aking presentation. Ang presentation ko ngayong hapon ay Mapping the Geography of the UAAP Men's Basketball Tournament for Season 81. Uh, sino nga ba ako? Bakit ako nandito? Ano yung presentation ko? Kung tayo ay nanood na nung unang araw ng presta ng MAPA, medyo alam na natin to. Um, ako si Ben. I'm an open stuff advocate, a geospatial generalist, and a data activist plus maptivist. I have my consultancy BNHR, where I help people create sustainable and beneficial solutions to their uh, spatial and data problems using open technologies. I also serve as a CTO for Smart City, where a nonprofit organization who wants to put uh, data and citizens at the heart of smart city building in the Philippines. I also serve as a consultant for several other organizations like OKFN and um, TB, Hivos, uh, and stuff like that. So if you're interested in that and what I do and what I offer, you can check me out online on my website, bnhr.xyz. You know, I'm on social media on Facebook and Twitter, bnhr.xyz. So pwedeng tingnan na lang natin doon. Uh, but uh, enough of that. Hindi naman yun yung mahalaga dito sa presentation na to. Mas mahalaga siguro kung bakit tayo nandito. So, why are we here? Well, we're here to talk about basketball. Diba? And well, what can be said or what cannot be said about basketball sa Pilipinas? It's probably the most popular sport in the country. No, kahit sino may alam sa basketball, kahit sino may pakialam sa basketball. Pag NBA Finals, tutok lahat sa 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 TV natin, di ba? So basketball is uh, a big thing, well, probably one of the biggest things in the Philippines. And I'm a huge fan of basketball ever since I was a kid. The first memory ko of it was as a very young uh, kid watching the NBA um, game four, Kings versus Lakers. Yung tira ni Robert Ory at the buzzer nung tinap ni Divac pa balik yung yung bola. So that was one of my earliest and fondest memories of basketball. And yun, as as a kid then I love playing video games, especially ba- basketball video games. I started with NBA 2K1 sa Sega Dreamcast and until now naglalaro pa rin ako 2K29, 2K21. Um yeah, but um siguro for this one hindi lang basketball yung pag-uusapan natin. It's about you know how to learn or learning special stuff through basketball. Kasi yung yung special journey ko Uh, how I learned about, you know, programming spatially, uh, geospatial concepts. I learned that through basketball then. Uh, so this presentation will talk a bit then about about that journey or of how probably I evolved as as someone sa field ng spatial through my through my ano through my projects or works with with basketball. So to do that, I have to I have to take you back to 2012. Yun. So, balik tayo. Let's go back in time. 2012, nasan ba si Ben? Nasan ba ako? Um, like any other early 20s person na nag-aaral pa, I was still in my undergrad. I was a GE, geodetic engineering student, and I at that time, I was already thinking siguro ano ba yung gusto kong gawin. Hindi lang sa buhay, pero yung mas, mas near ay ano ba yung gusto kong gawin sa aking undergrad research? Uh, although it would take two more years before I actually you know, finish my degree. Um, at that time, hindi ko pa alam kung ano talaga yung gusto kong gawin. Um, I, didn't, I really didn't know kung saan ko gusto i-apply. Yung knowledge and ideas na nakukuha ko from, from my degree. Uh, it's, ang daming pwedeng gawin eh. You know, remote sensing, GIS, surveying, things like that. So I was a bit ano, um, confused kung ano ba talaga yung gusto ko or saan ko ba talaga pwedeng i-apply to. And that's when I met Court Vision. Um, it's, a, it's a work by Dr. Kirk Goldsberry during the 2012 so MIT Sloan Sports Conference. Yung, yung, yung article na yon yung study na yon was about uh, applying spatial and visual analytics to N- sa NBA to answer the question kung sino ba yung best shooters sa NBA. So, it blew my mind. It was, para sa akin, it was a watershed moment for me na nag-meet yung dalawang bagay na gusto ko. Um, spatial analysis 
on one hand then you have basketball on the other tapos biglang boom uh, things made sense bigla and i realized this is something that i want to do the, this is something na gusto ko rin i-apply sa studies ko siguro or things that i want moving forward yun so uh, sa cur- sa court vision ang daming ginawa ni Dr. Goldsberry even though hindi naman yun yung first time na 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 inapply yung special analysis sa basketball it was one of those things na ito yung pinakauna ko nabasa so ito yung isa sa mga pinakaunang tumatak sa akin uh, he developed two metrics spread chaka range which accounts for the spatial nature of shooting sa basketball so the larger the range the ay, the larger the spread so mas maraming areas tumitira yung isang player the larger the range mas maraming areas where a player makes at least one shot so Ang ganda, ang ganda ng idea uh, nung, nung spread siya range at yung pag-apply ng spatial uh, analysis nga sa basketball. Now, if, you're, if you're interested with it, the links are there sa presentation kung saan nyo makikita yung video niya tsaka yung, uh, tsaka yung article mismo na sinulat niya. And two years later, so that was 2012, by 2014, uh, Court Vision PH was born. Uh, I'm very thankful for my uh, thesis partner, Nico, as well as my thesis advisor, Ma Maria Rosario Concepcion Ang, for su- supporting us, ako tsaka yung thesis partner ko, din sa research namin, which was Court Vision PH. It's a system designed to extract uh, field goal attempt locations and do spatial analysis of shooting using broadcast basketball videos. Initially, yung balak lang namin there was, you know, yung spatial analysis. But what we found out during... The, no, during the research was there's a severe lack of spatial data being collected sa basketball dito sa Pilipinas. So, sana spatial analysis yung, lang yung gagawin namin, pero because there was no data, we also had to develop a system to extract data from field goal attempt locations. So, isa yun sa mga naging ano namin, findings na wala talaga masyadong nagko-collect ng ganong information sa Philippines as compared to something like the NBA na meron sila nung sports view player tracking system. So, Court Vision was a simple ano, a simple application na natuto akong mag uh, mas natuto akong mag-code because of it, mas natuto rin akong mag-handle ng databases because of it. So, doon nag-start yung pag-double ko sa mga sa mga applications na yon or sa mga technologies na yon. Uh, it's basically a Python application which connects to a SQLite database na ini-extract yung data from from a video and then uses another um, application to create visualizations. So, parang ganito siya. Uh, semi-automatic yung sabi namin. Hindi siya automatic. You have to point you have to point and click yung mga control points sa 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 court na syempre alam naman nung system natin kung ano yung corresponding ano niya corresponding coordinates and then you can do coordinate transformation after that and store all those locations to a database then once you have a database you have this um have this user interface where you can create queries and create maps and uh, compute for for statistics and compute for you know analytics so very crude, very basic pero ang dami kong natutunan dun sa sa study namin na yan. Yun. It would take another 4 years before I actually also started working on this again uh, for reasons um, reasons I might I I don't have the time to go into uh, in this presentation pero I, um, after 4 years around 2018 I updated yung um, court vision PH system uh, as part of my studies na rin sa graduate school. So I'm currently taking up geomatics engineering uh, from NGSE, focusing on the geoinformatics. So I, I'm lucky that I've had the time to you know, work on this more because of, because, of my, ano, because of my graduate studies. So na-update si Court Vision. Instead of using SQLite, I could now use PostGIS, which in turn allowed me to... Um, use my data on NQGIS, GRASS, and other, you know, desktop GIS applications. So, dito natuto ako naman akong, yun, matu- mas natuto akong gumamit ng PostGIS, pati gumamit ng connections from PostGIS to other uh, GIS yun, applications. And, yun, nag parang, whenever I have time, 
or if my final project siguro uh, in my in my um undergrad ay uh, in my graduate studies in my classes kung kaya ko siyang ising it i would do that uh, for my special visualization class i did uh, research exploring special visualizations of shooting in basketball using gis so i i did different kinds of visualizations using the data that i gathered and then uh, applied apply those visualizations and ask people kung uh, which one they prefer if my preference ba yung mga tao mas gusto ba nila yung simple visualizations mas gusto ba nila yung complex or other things like that um then for my advanced gis class i did uh, a dashboard i think it's still available online at courtvision.pnhr.xyz it's a uh, basketball or special basket analysis dashboard for basketball pero hindi ko na update yung data uh, but you can try it out maraming ano ma- it, it's a work in progress pero i think it still works mabagal lang magload um and then i also did some uh, studies on minimal visualizations and storytelling uh, season 8 i think this was season 80 uh, yung yung time na um, maganda na rin yung performance ng UP. So it was a time na nag, parang nagbabago na rin yung approach ko to to visual analytics, to spatial analysis and stuff like that. Yun. Which uh, which takes me uh, to the present time, uh, two years two more years later ngayon 2020. Uh, I wanted to do something for my uh, graduate thesis that's ve- that's similar to this and I wanted Sana to be able to do it with well, with, with UAAP data with Philippine basketball um, over those years over those over those how many years almost 8 years from 2012 until until now marami ng mga bagong bagay there there has been a lot of you know improvements in terms of the way basketball has been analyzed and uh, i really enjoyed yung yung storytelling nung nung sa nba and yung special analysis and special basketball Re- revolution sa nba i even have you know yung book ni dr goldsberry na sprawl ball uh, that i bought last uh, last year to para para makita kung ano ba yung ano ba yung mga nagbago and how 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 special analysis has been used uh, sa NBA. So I wanted to do something like that sa, sa Philippine basketball. So AP for example. And that takes us to right now uh, mapping the geography of the UAAP. Uh, this is actually uh, uh, my proposed ano, my proposed uh, master's thesis. Hopefully my defend ko na yung proposal. Uh, but what do I want to do in this study? Uh, simply lang. I want to do two things. First is to spatially characterize the shooting and scoring in the UAAP uh, using Season 81 data. So I would map the field goals and I will also compute for their, their spatial basis vectors. Uh, mas mathematical, mas stochastic yung approach instead of being arbitrary. And I also want to be able to compare and contrast teams based on the spatial characteristics that I compute. And... Uh, so that I can say uh, who's the best shooter, who's the worst shooter. Is there a difference in the special characteristics of good players, bad players? I mean, uh, successful teams and unsuccessful teams. Uh, for spatially characterizing shooting in the UAP, medyo mas magiging technical na tayo in the next few slides. So I hope you bear with me. Uh, I found out that there's this uh, thing called NMF non-negative matrix factorization which allows you to well uh decompose a matrix into into non-negative of uh, yon uh, factors na lower rank than your than your initial matrix it's great for for reconst- for creating parts based decomposition for example faces and it just so happens it's also been widely used for deconstructing shot chart data to get ano ba yung parts ng ng shot ng shot charts ng isang league uh, tulad ng NBA so it's been used for characterizing or identifying special basis vectors of field goals so yung yung method lang niya is if you consider each player's field goal as a point process and then you discretize it over a court pwede ka makagawa ng matrix for each player's shot uh, shot constellation or shot chart 
using that matrix, pwede kang makapag-generate ng uh, yung V na yun, pwede mong magamit using NMF, pwede kang makakuha ng W tsaka H, which is yung sub-intensities mo at na nagsasummarize ng shooting zones or shot types at yung W mo naman, which is yung spatial shooting habits nung, nung players mo. Yan. So, maraming analysis, marami ng studies that actually use NMF. Uh, Miller did it sa, in 2014. Uh, using NMF and uh, Logosian, LGCP, to to model yung surface intensities. And then, another one is Franks. Dito naman, defensive uh, ability yung tinitignan nila, but they also used uh, NMF and log LGCP uh, combination para makuha yung, ano, makuha nila yung spatial basis vectors nung, nung, nung league. Uh, sa kanila, six lang ginamit nila na base and they discarded one which they considered the residual. Uh, meron ding isa pa uh, for, for Zhao. Ano, dito naman sa kanila, instead of LGCP, they just used uh, simple kernel estimation para dun sa, ano, para dun sa kanilang um, para dun sa kanilang intensities and then uh, using NMF to get yung mga Spatial basis vectors. I've been talking about spatial basis vectors kanina pa. What are they? Uh, basically, sila yung components or sila yung parts nung, nung main vector mo. In this case, yung, yung, uh, yung set mo nung field goals. So, yung spatial basis vectors ay similar to uh, shot types kung saan areas malalas tumitira yung mga player. For example, in this, in this slide, you can see uh, shots on the paint dun sa wings, sa left tsaka right, sa corner trees, and then yung uh, top of the key. So, yun yung mga spatial basis vectors niya. Um, I also want to compare and contrast teams and players. So, uh, again, I go back to court vision for this one. Uh, yung pagawa niya ng range tsaka, tsaka spread. Although, yung medyo limitation with range spread is that it was still arbitrary. In this case, one shot means uh, may spread point ka dun sa location na yon and making one field goal means uh, or making one point per attempt in that ano in that area gives you a uh, one one point in range so medyo arbitrary siya uh, but sabi ko nga over the past eight years madami ng bagong na introduce so for for short range analysis nung 2014 instead of being arbitrary Uh, gumamit sila ng ano gumamit sila ng mas stochastic way to compute and to compare players so gumamit sila ng uh, empirical based estimator para mas maayos yung uh, pagmodel nila nung field goal rate and then instead of comparing yung shooting to arbitrary values like one shot o kaya one point per attempt they compared yung yung performance ng player versus the league average para makita if a player is performing above league average or a player is performing below league average so instead of being an arbitrary comparison to a static number it becomes uh, a more stochastic comparison to, to to the league average so mas mas maganda yung resulta as compared siguro dun sa uh, sa isang sa unang tining na natin na static lang yung yung analysis niya And then uh, another way na ginawa was um, sandholds, measuring spatial allocative efficiency. Dito naman, tiningnan nila yung, using spatial basis vectors, tiningnan nila kung sino or which player on a five-man five, five man lineup takes the most shots sa, for each uh, basis vector at ano dapat yung ranking nila within the team. And then they optimize for that for that ranking na dapat if player A shoots the most at uh, location 1 dapat siya yung pinaka uh, magaling din mag-shoot doon so they optimized for that and computed kung uh, how many points a uh, team should score if they optimized for 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 that thing versus ano yung actual points na na-score nila in reality and then they computed for a function called the points lost which is kumbaga um yung inefficiency ng offense kung kung if we actually let the best players shoot at their best spots 
theoretically, how many points should we score versus how much do we actually score? So those are some of the things that could be done and where we're done uh, is a spatial analysis ng basketball using you know, statistics, spatial vis, spatial analysis, spatial analytics, and things like that. Something similar na gusto ko rin sanang magawa sa aking study. So what are included sa, sa, sa study ko? Yun, nakita natin yung ginawa sa NBA. Unfortunately, I don't think I, I can do that. So yung scope and limitation or scope of the limitation of, of the study is I'd be including all field, all field goals for season 81. I chose that season because uh, the shot chart data is available on FIBA Live Stats. So it was easy. It was relatively easier to get than uh, manually extracting from videos. Uh, information included are location, points made, player and team information, as well as venue, date, and shot type. Uh, free throws and missed field goals because of fouls will not be considered because wala sila dun sa, sa data set. Um, location they all, will also just be the primary variable considered in modeling shooting tendency and efficiency or ability. Um, we won't do a multivariate analysis or a mark point process analysis. So other con- contextual information or covariates will not be included, but they can be included in further research in the future. So yun. Uh, so what am I doing now and what else will I be doing? Um, basically, the first thing I did was extract the data. So I, if you actually check FIVA Live stats, meron silang listahan doon. Uh, well, not really a list. There are pages for each game, and for each game, there is a shot chart uh, available. So what I did was I did I created a script in Python to first look for all the UAAP games for season eighty one. Then second, it extracts all the data, which is loaded via JavaScript and then rendered as HTML. So uh, I did I did a Python script that scrapes that and then converts it to a CSV and maps it into just the half court. Because it's a shot chart. If you can see the shot chart, it actually maps uh, the entire full court. But for, for analysis like this, uh, you only need it to be maps half court. So ayun, yun, ETL, or Extract, Transform, and Load from, from FIBA Live Stats to, to my computer as a CSV file. Uh, and then uh, I could extract patterns from field goals using NMF. So I'll be doing this. Sabi ko nga, I want to be able to show yung spatial basis vectors of of the UAP using this uh, simple, you know, uh, algorithm. And then uh, some examples, uh, I did it, I did this uh, sample NMF using KDE, uh, Frobenius loss function and six bases. So dito makikita na natin, we can see that uh, we have areas uh, uh, near the ring, left and right. We have wings, and then we also have uh, three point three pointers uh, sa corners. So those are the uh, bases na nakita nung nung analysis natin. I'm still looking at how to optimize this uh, or how best to choose the number of bases. So that will be part of the study as well. Um, some of the things I've already done though are some visualizations. Uh, so if you follow me on Facebook or if you follow BNHR on Facebook, you've probably seen this. Uh, I map field goals or field goals made of different teams uh, as points. I also did you know, distance of three-pointers na, no, na visualization. Uh, I also did uh, polygons of shooting clusters. So what I did here, I, k-means, I did a k-means clustering. Uh, and then uh, once I got the clusters, I computed for the for the minimum bounding polygon and then just style them um, accordingly. So maganda rin yung nakikita ditong uh, variation na iba yung shooting style ng UP at shooting cluster at iba rin yung shooting styles and cluster ng Ateneo. And then lastly, I, I did some range maps. So sa range, the size of the hexagon means uh, more shots are taken. And then the color means yung how efficient yung ano yung yung shot na yon or yung yung player or team is dun sa area na yon. 
So if you actually uh, look at this range map and compare it to to the ones I did before, um, medyo nakakatuwa kasi uh, how far how far I've I've gone or I've, how far I've 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 taken this from from that one to this one. So it's like yun nga, sabi ko, it's a journey of how how I've changed as uh, as someone doing spatial stuff through basketball. So that's it. If you have questions, uh, feel free to do so. Maraming salamat sa pakikinig. And if yon, uh, as an open data guy, if you want to to do the analysis yourself, um, my, the data is out there. Uh, nasa GitHub ko, you can check it out. Maraming salamat and uh, see you next year sa susunod na pista ng mapa.